Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SR7 and welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing Team of the Year Honorable Mentions Harry Kane. So as you can see, he is six foot two, right footed, high high work rates with three star skills, five star weak foot. He can play striker and centre forward, so not too many options there in terms of positions on the field. Looking at his stats, he's got 86 pace with 87 sprint speed. He's got 95 shooting with 98 positioning, 97 fish finishing, 96 penalties and 96 shot power. He's got 88 passing as well with 92 vision and 90 short passing and long passing. He's got 87 dribbling with 85 balance, 96 reactions and 96 composure. He does have 90 heading accuracy as well as 88 physical with 90 stamina and 89 strength. So those are the key stats in this card, that's what should make him good. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay, let's see how he plays, and I'll give you guys my thoughts on the card at the end of the video. So getting into the first clip here, we do play the ball out wide from Cancelo. We are going to pretty much run the entire length of the field here. Great pace shown here from Cancelo. Great running, great drive, great power, and he plays his ball, picks out Harry Kane to perfection, who tucks it into the back of the net with the plum. Great counter attack, quick speed there and a fantastic goal. Up next, we get the ball here with Marquez. We play it out wide to Cancelo. We find Gareth Bale. He goes, well, with a nice heavy touch there, out wide. We play it over the top to Harry Kane and a fantastic athletic strike from the big English man, Harry Kane, to extend our lead. Here we go in the 90th minute. Ice cold, ice in his veins. Harry Kane steps up, tucks the penalty away and wins us the game in the final seconds. Great penalty, great composure and just a fantastic goal. So as you can see getting into the next clip here we get onto the ball with Nakata. Nakata plays it down to Saka. That was a great play there from Saka to get around Van Dijk. Great show of pace there. He rolls it back to Harry Kane and Harry Kane tucks that ball into the empty net. Great goal there, great play from Saka and it's an all-round fantastic play. So we lose out the ball there but we do win it back with Valverde. We played over the top to Bale. He collects his ball beautifully, plays it into Harry Kane. Harry Kane holds for the defender, big boy Virgil van Dijk, and he does score that goal without any problems. Onto the ball now with Fede Valverde, back down to Harry Kane, good dribbling there to turn around van Dijk, and he taps that ball past the keeper, across the goals, into the back of the net. Harry Kane, yet again. So, um, well, as you see, we do have a little celebration in there, but we come back down here with Kane, great dribbling there, we play this ball into Saka, unfortunately, he doesn't score there, but we do find Schweinsteiger who taps it in after some fantastic play from Kane. Kane on the ball here. We do get the ball here, with Saka back to Kane. A nice ball to play in Di Maria there, perfectly weighted, and unfortunately, we can't tuck it into the back of the net. But we do come back down again here. Maldini with a nice tackle there before playing it to Cancelo. Cancelo finds Harry Kane and he taps that ball. A nice little easy finish into the bottom corner there. Keeper sprawls across the goals, but no chance of reaching it. Up next here, Kane on the ball once again. We are going to go for the little dribble there. We get around the defender, leaving him on the floor, and we roll that ball past the keeper in at the near post. Next chance here, Schweinsteiger on the ball, straight to Saka. Saka spots Kane. We play that ball through to him. Defender can't catch him, and we do go for the sh uh, shot across the goals yet to Kane on the five star weak foot, and he tucks it away, no problems. Finding Harry Kane here again, we play this ball into him, and he finds the back of the net there once again. Fantastic play from Harry Kane, absolutely no doubt of his finishing whatsoever. Kane on the ball now again, he makes a good run there to find himself through one goal. We do go across the keeper once again with a nice little rolled finish and once again, keeper absolutely stranded. Ball played through to Harry Kane here, we are going to get away from the defenders here, we are going to go for the finish and he just with a nice outside foot shots there, beats the keeper to equalise pretty late in the game and keep us in it for another minute. We go again here, keep on the ball, he throws the ball out, we do intercept it with Harry Kane, we go for the chip shot there, over the keeper, and this ball barely crosses the line, we did hit that a bit too soft, but it's fine because we did score, but nonetheless. Cancelo on the ball here, he plays it through to Kane, Kane spots Saka at the far post, a beautiful cross in behind, and Saka with an absolutely beautiful finish there, into the top corner, back of the net, no chance whatsoever. Onto the ball now with Cancelo again. He finds Kane out wide. Kane running through and goal here. We spot Saka over the top, played through to him, and Saka, while the defender's pretty much on top of him, hits that ball past the keeper to find another Harry Kane assist. So as you can see, we do end this review with seven games, 
13 goals and 3 assists. That is 16 goal contributions in 7 games, which is a fantastic return from his card. That just shows you how good he is and, you know, pretty much is going to give you a rundown now of each stat and you'll essentially see what I think of this card at the end. So starting off with pace, I mean it is big boy Harry Kane, you'd expect him to be slow, but surprisingly enough, this Harry Kane is actually very quick, he feels fast, he feels rapid. When he's going through on goal, you can't really catch him, I mean when he's gone, he's gone, it doesn't matter what defender you're chasing him with, you can't get him, he's got the combination of pace, he's got the power, he's got the strength, when he's through, he's through. Comes to his shooting, I mean this is by far the best attribute on this card, this man's shooting is undeniably goated. It is so, so good. You give him a half chance, you give him a full chance, inside the box, outside the box, left foot, right foot, finesse shot, power shot, it doesn't matter what you go for. This guy will score every single chance that he gets. He is one of the best finishers, if not the best finisher that I've used on this game. And without shut off the doubt, absolutely a fantastic card. I mean, he's going to score so many goals for you. He will win you so many games on his own. It is just so, so crazy how good his shooting is. Honestly, one of the best in that stat. Looking at his passing, just like real life, this Harry Kane is very good at passing. I mean, he can find his teammates from anywhere. Left footed again, he's got the fire star weak foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. Putting it on a cross, you want to play a short pass, play an over through, he can do it all. He will put it on a plate for his teammate, play the ball in a sixpence, and they don't even have to break stride to get to it because his passing is just inch perfect. Dribbling, this is where you might uh, be a bit concerned as well because you might think Harry Kane is going to be a donkey, he's going to turn like a boss, he's going to move like a robot. But surprisingly enough, he's very agile on the ball, he's actually quite mobile, he can turn really well, he can turn really quickly, he does not feel clunky at all, he can evade defenders, he can dribble as well. He's got 3 star skills but he can pull off like the simple skill moves here and there which sometimes end up being more effective. So dribbling is actually surprisingly good, especially for a man of his size and a man that you normally wouldn't expect to be the most mobile player on the field. When it comes to physical, I mean this guy is a man mountain, he is so strong, he is so powerful, nobody can push him off the ball, he just holds his own against pretty much anybody on the field. He's got the stamina to back it up as well, he can run all game long, I mean he can pretty much just do it all. So all in all, what do I think of this card? Honestly. He is a fantastic card, one of the better big players that have used in this game. I know lengthy might not be a thing anymore uh, and you might not think that bigger players are usable. But let me tell you this, this Harry Kane is absolutely phenomenal. He's a fantastic card. He's a huge welcome addition to any team because I promise you, unless you have like the Mbappes of this game, he is a upgrade, especially for the uh, players that need like players on a cheaper budget or, you know, they don't have the high tier players. This guy is a perfect option because he can compete with anybody on this game. So, do I give him the stamp of approval? 100% yes I do. A fantastic card, a huge signing for any team and it's a player that you are not going to regret getting. He will win you games on his own, he is a game changer and I honestly do think he is that good. So, what do I give him as a rating out of 10? He gets a 9 out of 10 which is a huge rating. I mean I think that's up there with some of the better ratings that I've given on this game, especially for attackers and honestly this man warrants it. Like I keep telling you, he is so good. He's such a good player. I mean, he will fit any team, any playstyle, and he's always going to be there. A fox in the box that's going to bag so many goals and win you so many games. Okay, so anyway, guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already. And until next time, guys, peace.